At first glance, the nondescript, and it must be said, somewhat scruffy brick wall along Middleton Passage looks like any other wall. Children have chalked messages and childish symbols onto it. In places, a profusion of greenery drapes over it. Here and there, the brickwork has crumbled away. Yes, there can be no doubt about it. Your first reaction, should you endeavour to find your way to this North London Passage, would be, there's nothing to look at here. But, as with so many locations in London, first impressions can be decidedly deceiving. Look again at the wall, and you start to notice something very out of the ordinary. Scores of numbers, letters, and even dates have been gouged into the brickwork of the wall that lines the left side of the passage. Again, at first glance you might be inclined to dismiss these crude carvings as nothing short of mindless vandalism, and huffing and puffing you might even vow to report these disgraceful examples of antisocial behaviour to the first police officer you chance to encounter. However, the first police officer you encounter might not be as sympathetic to your disgust as you would like him or her to be, or at least they wouldn't have been a hundred or so years ago, because these initials and numbers are in fact a unique historical record carved into the wall by bored, tired and possibly even tipsy 19th and 20th century police officers. The policemen who set this unique record in stone were mostly members of the Metropolitan Police's G Division, the Finsbury Division, based out of King's Cross Police Station. On the whole, the officers simply carved their collar numbers, followed by a G, to denote G Division. But every so often, some officers couldn't resist the urge to mark their territory further by carving their initials or even names into the brickwork. As a result of this, some of the individual police constables whose numbers and initials appear on the wall have been identified. So, for example, this number and these initials are thought to have been the work of Frederick Albert Victor Moore, who became an officer with G Division in 1886. Further along the wall, you encounter the initials F.A.H., followed by the number 103. This is believed to have been carved by Frederick Alfred Huntley from Hackney. Another set of initials reads T.K., followed by the year 1913. The author of this particular carving is believed to have been Thomas Kilpatrick, a former gamekeeper from Dumfries, who joined the Metropolitan Police in 1910. As to the reason why all these individual police constables took the trouble to immortalise themselves, or at least their collar numbers and occasional initials, with what is, when all is said and done, a blatant act of vandalism, well, we simply do not know. One theory holds that Middleton Passage had such a bad reputation during the hours of darkness in the 19th century that an officer would be assigned the duty of guarding it through the night, a task they found so boring that they whiled away the hours by carving their information onto the brickwork, just to keep themselves occupied. Another explanation has it that, having completed their final beat of the night, Officers would mark the end of their shifts by gouging their numbers and initials into the bricks before heading back to the police station. To be honest, neither of these explanations seems that plausible. It may have simply been a case that one officer decided to do it one night, another officer saw it and decided to do likewise the next night, and before long it had become a ritual that all new officers joining G Division decided to follow, with some of them deciding to go a little bit further and carving their initials into the brickwork. But what a blessing it is for us today that they did so, for we are now able to study this century and more old graffiti and picture those long-ago officers on their beats whistling to themselves as their pocket knives, I presume they used pocket knives, dug into the brick and created a unique record of their presence here. There can be no doubt about it, the police numbers and initials carved into the brickwork of Middleton Passage are a fascinating London curiosity. It is well worth making the journey over there to see them for yourselves. You won't be disappointed. And as you stand there, staring at what appears to be nothing more than a blank brick wall, it won't be long before 
a passerby will notice you and will begin approaching you to inquire, what is so interesting about that wall? And you will be able to assume a superior, all-knowing stance as you proceed to enlighten them about the curious carvings left by those long-ago police officers of G Division in Middleton Passage. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this here, then? 